it was meant to be you know like if it wasn't meant to be then the baby would not be here at this point in time in our lives <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello. My name is Demacy and I started this YouTube channel with my fiance way back in the day, freshman year of college. But now we are really starting to jump in on this vlogging thing since we are bringing a new little life into this world. He is due May 7th of this year. So we are really looking forward to that and we wanted to bring you guys along on our journey so today i just wanted to do a quick video about how i found out i was pregnant and how i told our families we actually have done a life update video that kind of shed a little insight into how we told everyone but i just wanted to give a more in-depth video about how i felt when i found out that our little guy was coming into this world at an unexpected time. I got pregnant at 21, but then I turned 22, so technically I was like 22 when I found out that I was having a baby. We conceived around August, in the beginning of August, and at the end of August we got engaged and then I turned 22. Around September I was supposed to have a period and that did not come. Um, I waited about two weeks before I actually took a pregnancy test. The pregnancy test um, automatically showed up positive as soon as I took it. I bought a pack of clear blue while I was at work. I immediately was conflicted because obviously we were not planning to have a little baby so soon. We wanted to get married first and we wanted to be more established in our life because we had just moved out to Massachusetts about three months prior to that. <laughs> so we were really adjusting to being out of college and living on our own, 14 hours away from home. So the timing was really, really just not perfect is what I want to call it. We always wanted to have children. We definitely wanted to wait until after we were married before we did start that and we weren't planning on having a wedding for another two years just so we could save up and really have the wedding that we wanted. But. A little guy popped into the picture. Um, at the time, I was just very confused. I kept talking to Ethan and my friends about it. I was just like, I don't know what to do. Um, from the beginning, Ethan was very straightforward about how he wanted to keep our baby. He said that it was meant to be, you know, like if it wasn't meant to be, then the baby would not be here at this point in time in our lives. I pondered different choices um, just like any other mother that would not be that wasn't planning a baby would do um, we went to Planned Parenthood just to have another pregnancy test confirmed which was a waste of money because they did a pee test and it came back positive as well so at that point we were supposed to be going home to visit our family at the end of the month we made the decision that we were 100% going to keep this baby I didn't want to go home and have to tell them face to face to make the trip even more awkward. <laughs> so I just went ahead and called my parents. I called my dad first and he was very excited. He reacted completely different the way than what I expected him to react. But he was very supportive and he was like, you know, if it all depended on marriage, then marriage would be, there would be no babies that were born out of wedlock. So. That was really relieving to hear, but I knew when I called my mom, her reaction was going to be probably the opposite. I mean, she was mm, disappointed. I don't want to say she was mad um, because obviously she knew that we wanted children and eventually children was what we were going to be trying for. But she was just kind of shocked and she was like, well, I, you know, I'm not... I can't say that I'm 100% happy because I thought that you guys would wait and give yourselves more time, but I am excited to be a grandmother. When we went home, we had a talk with my mom face to face, my dad as well, and she just sat us down and told us that even though we weren't planning to have a baby at this time, she was happy for us and that she was going to be the best grandmother to this child and that she would be there for us every step of the way no matter what decisions we decided. 
she wanted to be there for us and for her grandchild. So that was very relieving. Um, we had mainly came home to North Carolina to visit Ethan's parents because they were going on a beach trip and they really wanted us to go with them. Ethan decided that he was going to call his mom before we left to go to the beach to see them. He called them and of course they were very supportive, both of them. They were like, you know, children are a blessing either way. We are happy for you guys and we can't wait to be grandparents. So we went to the beach with them and at the time we were, Ethan and I, mainly me, of course mainly me, was still just conflicted with the choices that we were making. I was just still like up and down and just an emotional wreck about what I really wanted because again, I hadn't accomplished as much as I wanted to. I wanted to do a lot more theater before I gave myself that responsibility of having a child. So I'm grateful that this, <laughs> that it didn't happen while I was in high school or in college, but I, again, was just really distraught at the fact that the baby had came, not when I had wanted to plan him. But again, we were so very grateful and blessed, and I felt really grateful and blessed to be able to carry a child and bring him into this world. So at the end of the trip, it really gave us some insight into what we wanted to do. We had a plan um, when we came back that we were going to keep the baby and we were going to be the best parents that we could can be for him. And you know, being a mother at 22 doesn't seem that young but it was just a very stressful situation at the time. You know, in the end, there was no reason for me to take another rap, another route with this child because I have a loving fiance, I have a supportive family, I have supportive in-laws, and again, I'm not in this alone. It'd be different if I was maybe 16 or, you know, didn't have any uh, family support anything and I realized that you can't worry about the future you just have to be grateful for what you have now and that's exactly what I'm doing I am being grateful that I am bringing a son into this world with my loving fiance who will eventually be my husband and I'm just grateful that we can start this family together and that we will have a little human that is half of me and half of him to love on and as we get closer to his due date, I just get even more overwhelmed with love and just full just bliss as he grows, as I feel him grow. I am just so grateful that I made the choice that I did and that I didn't decide to do anything else because I would honestly, honestly be so miserable if I had decided on anything else. I just wanna say that I am so grateful for you little guy when you're looking back at this when you're older because these are what the purpose of these videos are for is for you to watch and to see how we brought you into this world and any other future siblings that you may have i just want to say that i am so so grateful for you and i wouldn't trade this experience for anything anything in this whole world and i am just full of love and I can't wait until you're here and your daddy can't wait until you're here. We can hold you and kiss you and just love on you and just be the best parents that we can for you. I know we're going to make mistakes, but I just hope that you realize that we will learn from those mistakes and we will do whatever we can to be the most caring individuals for you so that you can grow up and experience everything in this whole wide world and that you're just... You're just an awesome kid already, and we don't even know you yet. Now, that's how I found out I was pregnant, and how I told my parents at 22 years old. I hope you guys will subscribe and join us on this journey as we continue to go through life and grow our little family. We have a lot of exciting things coming up, so I hope you guys will stay tuned for those. So until next time, bye.